so I'm here to answer the big question when do you have a Facebook page a professional Facebook profile or a Facebook group so one of my uh, members of the business mom collective has asked me this question so I thought I would come in it's much easier to explain in a live I know that some people find it really confusing and I think it's because Facebook pages and profiles start with the word P. <laughs> right, but if you actually look, you can tell which is your page because it will say that it's a page. Let's look at the difference between the three and what I recommend that you do. Okay, so Facebook pages used to be the place for having a business. They aren't anymore. The reason is, is because there is no organic reach, as in you put a post on and it would get to some of your followers and the organic reach is like minimal. It's slightly increased recently for people doing uh, reels, but um, not in comparison to the professional Facebook profile. Okay, so the reach is really, really low. So the Facebook page is really useful for larger companies, you know, that they've got more people working for them. So it's more of a, um, an identity for the company. So it, whereas I deal mainly with sole traders and self-employed people, it's not as useful for you. Um, it's also a Facebook page is useful if you're going to have multiple admins, which you don't need. Okay. But I would still have a Facebook page and I would just set it up as a shop front for your business and you'd have your reviews on there um, and you would have your services listed and you would post. Now it depends on how much time you've got, but you could just literally post once a month just so that there's something there for people to review. If you were going to do adverts, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I'm pretty sure that the advert management is better on a Facebook page. I don't recommend any of you do adverts unless you're earning over like 10K already and your stuff is already selling like hotcakes, in which case you get somebody else to do it for you anyway. Don't do it yourself. Okay, so that's your Facebook page. I recommend you set it up and then pretty much leave it and just post once a month, right? Your Facebook profile can be switched to be a professional profile. It's literally just go to settings and you can switch it to professional profile. And this is the new thing. So it will undoubtedly be getting more reach right now because that's always the way with social media. But the reason that Facebook has created these professional profiles is because it's got to compete with the likes of TikTok and Instagram, where the concept of a creator became important. So this is actually what you may not realize about your business is that people want to come to your business. If you're a sole trader, it's 100% you is the key. And that's why the professional Facebook profile is key for you as well. Okay, because it's about you and you create your community on your professional Facebook profile. And it means that you can have people following you and you can have friends, but there used to be the 5,000 limit and there's no longer a 5,000 limit because you can have people following you and they don't have to be your friends, okay? It is getting very good reach. I'm talking about reels of mine. I have never had this kind of reach with Facebook ever before. One of my reels is currently up to 30K views. I have never had anything like that. Um, so also, and also because people buy from people, when they check out your Facebook professional profile, it looks very similar, but people, a lot of people wouldn't be able to tell that it was a professional profile. Um, they wouldn't go, oh yes, that's a professional profile. Um, but it does mean that they get a feel for you. They get information about you. They like to stalk. They like to check you out. You would put a link to your Facebook page on your profile. Okay. So. I definitely recommend you switch your profiles to professional profiles, okay? And then finally, do you set up a Facebook group? My answer for that is, is Facebook going to be your primary social media channel? If you are a business mum, I recommend that you only have one primary channel. And the primary channel is where you're going to do your posts, but you're also going to do your engagement on other people's posts, and you're going to do your organic marketing. Okay, so if Facebook is going to be your primary channel, then yes, 
have a Facebook group because it's really useful to have a place where you can post, which maybe you don't want to post on your personal profile. I would actually post most of it also on your personal profile. It used to be that you couldn't post business stuff on your personal profile. You can now and it's absolutely fine. But sometimes you might have, you might be in a business where you have sensitive subjects or um, you might want to talk more more honestly about your life. There might be all sorts of reasons why a Facebook group gives you just a little bit more privacy. So you can have two types of groups. You can have a public group, which means that they kind of like, it's open, everybody can see everything in it, everybody outside can see everything in it, and people kind of hover and they don't have to join, so there's less commitment, but it probably grows faster. However, I personally prefer a private group because that makes sense. It's this sense of community. Maybe if you were doing like watercolor tutorials, no, you could have it public. But for anything with any kind of sensitive material, um, I would go private because then also there might be things that you, they, people wouldn't want to post on your professional profile, which should be public, by the way. Um, and so you can keep those things a little bit more quiet. Also, in a Facebook group, there is the option to do at everyone. You should never do that loads. You know I never do it very often, but it does mean that if you have something like a free training or something like that, you can get hold of everyone. So that's really, really, really good. You must remember that the Facebook group is not for you. It must have a specific benefit for them. And this is what I often see misunderstood completely. People set up a Facebook group for them to be able to promote their stuff. They don't think through why the hell should somebody actually join their Facebook group, okay? So, now, if you have a lot of questions, if you're like, okay, but, but what's organic marketing and how do I engage and how do I choose which is my primary channel and what is my niche and um, how do I use social media and how do I do my content planning and how do I keep myself consistent with outgoing balmy and what is consistent and how often do I actually have to post and what should my business strategy be and how do I make my business strategy match my marketing strategy match my social media strategy and how do I stay um, posting regularly um, and how do I keep up with my engagement and blah 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 blah. If you have all of those questions then I have got you. I recommend in that case that you buy my business startup combo program and that will give you everything you need to be able to get all of this understanding of organic marketing and engagement and how you get it going. Um, it's a really good price. Currently it is just £79 or you can pay twice. So it's a two month deal a payment plan where you pay £39.50 over two months. Okay. Um, and I really recommend it. It has uh, three programs in it. One goes through your business strategy and it also helps you to reduce down your to-dos so that your life will actually fit into school hours. The second one talks about how to get clients. It's not just social media. This also talks about just general lead generation, but it talks about engagement and it talks about promotion. It talks about how social media works, right? And then the third one is about TikTok, but actually it's about videos. How to make videos really fast without being boring as hell because short videos are key. And you know what? They're not just key to getting clients. They're key to tapping into your intuition. They're key to connecting with people. They're key to tapping into your creativity, which will also help your business. And they're key to getting your marketing message short. Okay, I hope this has really helped. Next week, I'm going to do some training on what to do if you really don't like social media. All right then, take care. Bye-bye.